you can use your cell phone as a webcam and I'm gonna show you how. A21 Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Hope you're having a wonderful time in quarantine. Probably not, but that's okay because today I'm gonna brighten your day. I'm gonna show you how to save a lot of money on streaming equipment. You can use your cell phone as a webcam and I'm gonna show you how. Before even starting this video, I gotta apologize for my hair. Uh, looks like crap, but there's no barbers open, so I haven't cut my hair in about two months in it. Now I got bangs. But before getting on into the video, I really wanna list out the list of requirements that you are going to need for this video. I don't want you to spend five or 10 minutes into the video and figure out that you may not not have something and feel like you wasted your life so let's go ahead and list off everything that you're going to need yes you can use an iPhone and an older one too I recommend iPhone 6 and up and then you can use a iPad if you wanted to as well maybe a newer iPad you can even use Android obviously you're gonna want really good Android something with a really good camera and you can also use a tablet but really make sure it's a good tablet because some tablets have a really crappy camera you're going to need a laptop a PC a MacBook an iMac one of those so that you can use it to stream then you're gonna download an app on your phone you're gonna download an app on your PC you're gonna sync them together it's gonna send the signal from your phone camera to the PC it's gonna go on top of your gameplay so that way you are now streaming your face cam from your phone it is better if you do have a capture card of some sort but if you don't have a capture card that's okay you can use OBS I'm using it right now to record this and it's gonna be what I'm gonna use to show you guys how to do it since it's free so we're gonna use this so let's go ahead and start off with our phone we're gonna have to download the app that we're going to be using if you're on iPhone you're gonna go to the app store and if you're on android you're gonna go to the android store whatever it's called and we're gonna go into search and then we're gonna type in iv cam then it's gonna be this very first one that pops up like this it's it's blue and it says iv cam webcam and then you're gonna go ahead and download that app it's a really good app it's all 100 percent for free yes there is a paid version which takes away the watermark so yeah there is gonna be a watermark for the free version but you're getting a really good camera for free so once you have everything set up on your phone you're gonna go over to your pc macbook i Mac, whatever it may be, and then go into Google and type in IV Cam. Once you type in IV Cam, you're gonna click on this very first link right here. We're gonna download it for Windows. Once we download it for Windows, it's gonna pop down here. We're gonna go ahead and go to Show in Folder. We're gonna double click, and then it's gonna say, Do you want to download? You're gonna go ahead and press yes, but I'm not going to because I already did it. Next thing we're gonna do is go back onto our home page. We're gonna open up IV Cam. There we go. Once we open this up, it says Waiting for IV Cam Connection. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hop over over to our phone and we're gonna open up the IV cam app but before doing that make sure that your PC and your iPhone are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network they do need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network at the same time so that it can transfer the camera image to your PC so we're gonna go ahead and open up the app unfortunately I'm not able to screen record because it just doesn't work now the camera is working on my phone and as you can see it is working on the PC as well but of course I do recommend using the back camera instead of the front camera the back camera always looks better than the front camera that's just fact so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly everything that you are seeing this is the camera on the phone everything is working perfectly now that we have everything working I'm gonna show you how to set it up onto your stream so we're gonna leave everything as this there is a watermark in the top left corner but that's okay it is 100% for free so why not one of the last steps of this video is using OBS Streamlabs or you can use a capture card if you want honestly I recommend capture cards but if you don't got the money to buy one that's okay we're gonna use OBS Streamlabs one of the best free tools I'm not gonna really show you exactly how to use Streamlabs because that's not what this tutorial is about. I'm hoping that you already know, but if you don't, just check out another tutorial. It's pretty easy to do. The next thing you're gonna need to do is press this little plus sign right here. When you press that plus sign, it says video capture device. You're gonna double click that right there. For some reason, it's already showing up. Go ahead and place it wherever you wanna place it. Then we're gonna double click on the video capture because what if, just what if, that this was not showing up and it was just blank. Under device right here, when you double click, it's gonna show up something else that's okay. Just go to device, click on option and then look for IV cam once you find IV cam give that a click and then boom it should be right there let's just say that it opened up right here and it looks like this oh no that's not good but that's okay we're just gonna go to device boom hit IV cam number one and it's good I'm keeping everything as default to be honest we're not gonna really mess with anything so now that everything is all set up and ready to go it's a little bit wide for my liking and I don't really like it that much now we're gonna go ahead and give that a right click go to transform we're gonna edit transform and this is going to crop it the way that you 
you want to make it look nicer, okay? So we're gonna crop, crop the top, okay? We gotta crop the top. Let's just throw this at a 50. That looks good. We just gotta keep going up a little bit more. Get rid of that black bar. There we go. We're gonna say 65. Put this one 65. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And now, I don't like it so wide. So we're gonna bring it in, okay? We're gonna put another 50. Boom. Looks good. Looks good. We're gonna put 65 on the right. That looks good. That looks good. I look a little... Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's zoom in a bit, okay? There we go. Zoomed in a bit. Boom! Better, better, better. Okay, now we got it looking good, and it doesn't look that bad. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm liking, I'm digging it. We do still have the watermark on the left corner, but that's okay. Like I said, it's free, so can't really complain. It's not that bad, and that's pretty much about it. Now we have our webcam. Let's set it up somewhere nice. We have it going. It's working. It looks really good. I have it zoomed in where I would like it. Of course, I turn off the light behind me. It doesn't look as good because the lighting isn't that great. It's on my left. If I did have good lighting, of course, you have a very good camera on your phone, so it's going to look really good, and you can mess with it a little bit more. You can zoom in, zoom out, whatever you want to do. The only bad thing is, of course, you are going to have that watermark. In my opinion, for a camera that's 100% free because it's on your phone, I really don't mind it. I've used it in videos before and just edited it out in post-production not that big of a deal that's about it now let me show you another really cool nifty trick we're gonna go ahead and open up another scene okay we're gonna open up another scene video capture add source and we're gonna zoom it there we go. So now all you're seeing is me because I'm using the OBS and I'm not showing the screen. So I'm not showing you everything that I'm doing. I'm just only showing the cameras. And then you can switch back and go smaller right here. So you can go back to your game, switch back. Now I'm on the full screen and then now it's just a computer. I really do like it. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think. Please stay safe during quarantine and let me know if you guys have any trouble with this video. I hope it was easy to follow along. I know I got a little off topic and I'm going to cut my hair soon. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. A21 Aaron is out. Peace out, gangsters. Hey, one